Hey guys, so I'm gonna do this video and show you guys how to create a party in your workstation as well as make a Facebook party group. Um, and I use Visly for all my parties, so I'm gonna show you how I set that up as well as do a um, how to schedule your post. So in your workstation, this is what it looks like. I'm on my laptop. If you go to orders, there is, you can either click view orders dashboard or you can click create a party. So I'm gonna create a party and I'm just gonna do a test party, but you can name this whoever the host is. Um, as you see, I have someone here. Um, so you can name it whatever you need to name it. Um, I'm actually going to name this. Um, I have a party to open, but I don't wanna put all the um, customer's information out there. So we're just gonna do test party, um, if I can type. But you can name it, you know, so-and-so's online scent bash, online scent event, things like that. Um, so I'm just going to click continue and it's going to take you to this screen. Now, if you were making this as your, um, with you as the host, you would click the use consultant as host and it would have your information there. Um, I am just going to enter my name, hopefully. Yeah, enter my name. And it's going to have my information on there and then I can have it shipped to my address or host address and click save and continue. And then it's going to take you to this page. You're going to want to make sure that this is automatically checked. Usually this is, but if you don't have an, a, a working website, then you want to make sure that you get be able to sign up for your website um, and have this be put on your PWS, your personal website, so they can shop. And you can change the title here. You can say, welcome to so-and-so's party. Um, you can change this body section. If you don't, you can leave it all how it is and click next. You can use the default picture, which is this. Um, you can upload a custom image um, for that party, or you can even put a video. If you don't wanna do any of that, you just click next. Um, and these are the defaults of featured products. Uh, these are some of our new products for the new catalog, or you can choose your own. You click next on that, and then this is the end date. So normally I do my parties a week long, so I have them open for about 12 days, 13 days, just in case the host wants to have time to fix, you know, to pick their stuff out. So this one is two weeks from today. So we're just gonna leave that there and click continue. Oh, it says invalid party name, okay. I'm just going to put use consultant as host so you guys don't see all of my info. Okay, so now we're back to the screen. So let's see if it likes that. We go down to the end date and click continue. There we go. Okay, and then it says you successfully created the party. You're going to copy this link, okay? You can copy that. It says the link has been copied. Then I go over to Facebook. I already have this up. I'm on the desktop, so I'm going to go up here to groups. And then I'm going to go over here to create a new group. And I'm going to put in the group name. So you could put in... Um, the person's name, online sent event. And then I always put these as private. Um, you can have it visible or non-visible and then you can start inviting friends. I wait until it's already created. So it's gonna look like this. Um, I'm gonna click create. And it's gonna come up like this. Um, on your phone, it's the same way you can add a cover photo. So we're gonna uh, go up here to edit and click um, choose a cover photo or upload a photo. Um, and I'm just going to pick one from my desktop. Normally I do this all on my phone, so it's a little bit different, but, um, like say, you know, normally I have a welcome to the party, um, with the host picture on there. Um, we're just going to make this some leaves for fall. Oh, it doesn't like that, but you're going to update your cover photo and I can show you, I can post in the comments, um, what I kind of use, my template that I use, I use it on Canva. Um, okay, so once I make the group, I want to be able to have a welcome post. So I will make a welcome post um, and I will put welcome to so-and-so's party. Thank you so much for joining us. The party officially starts on Monday. I do my parties from Monday to Monday, so I normally set them up Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and they go, you know, they I open them Monday, I start posting in them like do a sample form and then I on Saturdays I send them some samples if they want them if they fill out the form and then I also um 
I also will post like a little about me section, things like that. So I'm going to do welcome to the party here. Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate you for joining so-and-so's party. The party officially starts on Monday. It, it will end on this date. If you are local, you know, message me or the host with your order to save on shipping. Um, and then I will put like a welcome to the party graphic here. I don't think I have any saved on here, but um, yeah, so I'll do a welcome post there. And I don't think I have any saved, but I'll do a welcome post. And then what I'll do is once I make that post, I, I, I'm sorry, after that, I will also post, I will copy that link, their party link. And I say, if any time you want to shop, please use this link. And I will post that link there. Okay. So this post that I make will be pinned to the top of the party. So that's the first thing that they see. Okay. So once that's made and um, I have the welcome post pinned, I will go over here to invite and I will invite um, people. I will invite the host for one. Um, the main person is the host. So let's say if I wanted to invite, you know, my husband was the host. I click him, I click send invites. It will invite the host. And then once I invite the host, I will go uh, message them, text them, email them, what have you. And I will say, hey, I just created your party and invited you. You feel free to invite, you know, 50 to 100 people. I recommend personally messaging them or texting them and reaching out that way. You can also share on your Facebook page. Here is your link for them to shop. And I will send them the shopping link that I made, the party link in the workstation. I will send that to them. And I say, I also send them a little um, graphic that kind of says what's eligible for host rewards and what a qualifying party is. I'll send that to them, kind of some tips for good being a good host. Um, so once I invite them, I will message them that information. And I have my little welcome post here, so that's what they're going to see. I will also sometimes post a sample post right after the welcome post so they can fill out the sample form early so I can get the sample sent out to them. And let me show you, um, I'm just going to... I'm just going to delete this group. Um, well, I'm going to try to delete it, I guess, um, before I forget, because I definitely don't need another group on here. Um, and let me just show you um, one of the parties that I'm doing currently and kind of what it looks like. So this is um, a party that I'm doing for a girl. Um, this one I actually had, it says welcome to the party um, up here and I have the picture of them. And then this is what I was talking about for the welcome post. It's pinned to the party. You know, this was a new catalog. This was actually a group that I had did a party for her in February. And I just used the same group instead of creating a new group. Um, so these are just some things that I post in here. And I'm going to go over to Visley and show you guys, um, you know, what, I, what I'm posting or whatever. But letting them know about the Scooby-Doo launch. There's some posts about hosting. Um, there's, you know, some points that they can get for you know doing some games in there and they'll get a sample pack sensei club things like that so once I create the party and I invite the host I'm going to go over to Visley, which I have up here and what I would do is track the group so for example here's one party that I've already did um, well let me just show you guys let me go back um, let me do this fall online set event this one I need to close out we're almost at 200 um, so I will track this group in Visley and you have all your groups over here on the side. Um, and you just track a new group every time you make one, it'll show up at the bottom and, um, you can schedule your post in here. There's a bunch of templates that people, um, other consultants have made that I just use and, and not, um, an update. So my party points I updated, I, I update my introduction. I update some of the wording on the post. So they're not all the same. Um, but this template will post on my behalf for me. Okay. So I don't have to worry about it. So all these posts are scheduled out. So I don't have to worry about them. All I have to do is answer questions or comments that people might post on these things. Okay. And they post on my behalf. Now, how you do that is, um, let me see, once you go over here, let me see. Let me go back to the main screen and show you guys how you can use Visly. I will also share a Visly um, video for you as well. Um, it's going to take forever. And sorry for the lighting in here. I'm sitting like right across from a window and I'm just holding my phone because that's where we're at. Um, so these are all my tracked groups. I usually delete them, but down here is your available group. So once I made that new party, it would be down here and I would click track group. And once I click track group, it would come up here and I would open the group like this and I would import the template um, 
from Visly that other consultants have made and update it myself. So I already have a bunch of templates on here. So I would just select the one. This is the one week fall winter 2022 party. I would click that and it would tell me, ask me when I wanted to start, um, keep posts that are already scheduled. Yes. Um, and I can also import just certain, certain posts and pick the post that I want or whatever in the load template. So once it loads template, what you do is you can go in here, click on it, um, these have already posted, so I can't edit them, but if, if I, before the party starts, I'll go in here and click edit and I'll make sure, change up some of the wording, change out the picture, um, with these party points that I use and like same for my introduction, I would right click on this and edit this and change my information and my picture. And, um, these are just how to order. You would put in the host link on how to order, um, their party link, things like that. So this would all be posted on my behalf and once you make the group, when you go into the group, if this is the group I just did, um, and I'm doing the party in currently, I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom and I'm going to go to group settings. And you want to make sure Visly is part of the template so or part of the thing. So it's considered an app. So if you edit this, you want to make sure you add Visly and you can add it down here and Visly will post in the group for you and you don't have to do anything else, literally. Um, it's awesome. But if you don't want to do that, then you can go to the group. Let me let me scroll back up, I guess. So if you don't want to do Visly, which I understand, I just started using Visly probably a year ago. I do love it. Um, I think I pay like 10 bucks a month for it, but that's with tracking more than five um, parties at a time. So if you don't have more than five parties a month, you should be fine with the free version. If you click on this and you start typing something, I don't know if it's on here or not, but you should be able to schedule your post on here. Um, there should be a button up here, but there's not, so that's weird. Um, normally you can schedule on Facebook. Let me see if my VIP group is the same way. That's weird. Okay, so maybe it's on your phone, um, but you should be able to schedule unless it's a different feature. Oh, here it is, okay. so. Let me go back to the group and show you guys with the actual group. Okay, so if I want to schedule posts without using an app or anything like Visly, then you would go down here, start typing something, and then see this little calendar down here? This would says schedule posts, and you would pick the date and time you wanted to post. And then you would just schedule all of your posts there. Um, so it schedules on your behalf, and it posts on your behalf instead of using a second-party app like Visly. Um, so just note that, that you, that's another way for you to do it. Um, and this is what I did for the first three years of my business probably was um, schedule the post on Facebook like this. And you can schedule them a week in advance, a month in advance, I think. You can schedule them the night before, things like that. So just note that there is a way to do that um, that way. Um, and then there are a bunch of mock party groups where you can, you know, instead of if you don't want to use Visly, um, if you search mock the, in the in, on Facebook, um, this is one of the main groups I think that you can use. Um, I think they paused it, but this has all the product, new product alerts. So you could literally copy this, add some, uh, copy this to your party, add something else that says, you know, something else about this so you can change it up a little bit. Um, you can use the graphics. You can go on Pinterest and find real life photos of this stuff. Um, and you can paste that into your group. So this is a good one. This has all the fall and winter new scents. Um, information about that stuff so you can go on this group and find some posts to share and again just make it your own um, so you're not reinventing the wheel and um, you know you're not coming up with you can also make new posts for yourself there's also a um, in our team group there is an album for fall and winter flyers um, for you guys to use so let me go to that really quick and they changed the albums in here and it's really it's really aggravating I think yeah it's under media over here and then if you go to albums on the desktop, on the phone, if you go up to the top, there's like a little little three bars at the top that says albums. So fall and winter catalog flyers. If you click on that, it's going to have a whole bunch of real life photos for you guys to use. So save these to your phone, save them in an album on your phone. But also on here, there are a lot of um, party images. So you can do this or that. You can play some games with that. Um, sorry, I'm not trying to scroll that fast, but these are all some fall and winter flyers for our different laundry, different scents that they can use, things like that, that you can use in the parties that you can use these images. Um, and you can also check out some of the graphics groups. 
Um, I got a lot of these from those, so I'm just sharing them in here for you guys. But here's another thing. Welcome to the party. You can talk about, one day you can talk about all of our unplugged stuff, the car bar, scent circles, room spray. Another day you can talk about wax and warmers. Another day you can talk about Scentsy Clean. So you can kind of change it up each day. That's, tr that's pretty much what I do is post about a certain thing each day. Um, so there's Scentsy, Scentsy Laundry. I'm still not used to this computer. My, my Chromebook for work, um, the mouse is not as bad. Um, but you can talk about Scentsy Club. You know, you can share these images on your parties. Um, and just say, hey, today we're going to talk about this. Tomorrow we're going to talk about this. Um, there's like a last call for orders if you need to extend it. Um, these are some detailed things about what, what Scentsy Go is, about our warmers, things like that. So you can use these images um, in your parties as well, um, as well as those mock groups. So, so I think the mock group, this fall and winter mock group is awesome. Um, I think there's also one, um, this Scentsy Facebook party one I think is a new one. Um, but you guys can go on here and kind of get some ideas for, um, you know, uh, this is actually done by Visley. Yeah, this is Eric. Okay. So this is the Visley template, um, that I shared with you guys that I use for my parties. He is awesome. He created it, um, Eric Mobley, and, um, you can go in there and change it up a little bit, you know, put in your, um, your information and change up some of the posts. So Facebook doesn't want to flag it, you know, type thing, but this is what it's like um for the for the groups you can share some real life photos of you talk about sensi club um things like that so um hopefully this is helpful um again you're going to make the party on your workstation first you're going to copy that link and then you're going to go over to facebook create that party group um and then do a welcome post in the party group i always pin that to the top and then um I go onto Visly and I put in the template that I want to use, change up the template, um, and click. Once you have all that ready to go, you're going to click this and it's going to say start posting. Um, and it'll have a countdown of when your post will start. Um, and if you want any more information on Visly, please let me know. Um, again, you can also just go on Facebook and go up here and do the scheduling feature so you're not um, posting. Um, you can start typing and then go down. Well, you can't schedule in here, but you're going to go down here to that schedule post and um, look at it that way. So hopefully this helps, guys. And um, let me know if you guys have any questions.